Howdy again, folks. We're going to do another couple of recipes today. Two of my favorites that I can take on the road when we're full-time RVing. And that's a bacon, cheese, burger dog, and smoked beans. These are fantastic recipes. They're really simple to make. And go ahead, try them out, because I think you're going to enjoy them, especially at a summer picnic. Okay, we're going to start with uh, making the smoked beans. And I use a, uh, you can use a cast iron skillet or a pot. I've just used an aluminum tray in this example. Uh, and take some store-bought cans of uh, beans, usually in a tomato sauce, the molasses tends to be a little too sweet. Throw those into the aluminum pan, and now we're going to add a whole bunch of ingredients to it to spice it up a little bit. And you start with a medium onion, uh, skin it and dice it up fairly finely. Throw that in, and then we're going to do the same with a couple of apples. Hard apples are better than soft ones. Skin those, core them, chop them up, throw those into the beans as well, and then add a little bit of brown sugar and your own seasoning, whatever seasoning you like. I use my original seasoning, which has no additional sugar and is fairly spicy, and it gives it a nice little twang on the beans, and I like it. So stir that in, stir it thoroughly, make sure you got everything covered. And then you're going to add some barbecue sauce. Now again, whatever barbecue sauce works for you. I use my own Memphis sauce, which is a tomato-based sauce with a, a good amount of spice to it. There is some heat in that, but that's the way I like it. So add your barbecue sauce. You're going to have some bacon pre-cooked uh, to add at the end after you smoke, but at this point just leave that out. Mix it all together and you're ready to go to the smoker. Okay, so next up we're going to make some bacon cheese burger dogs, and these things are delicious. Make these well. You can do them on a grill or a smoker. I'm going to do them in a smoker today. And a little bit of, of barbecue sauce to dip it in at the end. These things are fantastic. So all you need is a little bit of lean ground beef, some seasoning, garlic, salt and pepper. I prefer the long wieners, so whatever you prefer. Some bacon and some cheddar cheese. So the first step is to take your ground beef into a bowl, season it up with some garlic powder and some salt and pepper, roll it up, mix it up, make it into a ball and then grab a little bit and roll it up into a little ball and flatten it out pretty thin. You know a quarter of an inch would be a lot and then shape it with a knife till you've got a square, just like it's showing in the video. And then take your wiener, roll it up grab it, shape it a little bit with your fingers, and then wrap the bacon around it. It's that simple to make these things. So make as many as you need, as many as you want, and then you're ready to go to the smoker. It's that simple. So we're out of the smoker now. We've got the beans in a tray. They are going to go in first. I put the smoker up at 350. That's why you can use a grill. It doesn't have to be a smoker, but I like that smoky taste. I've got it uh, preheated at 350. The beans are going to go in for about 60 to 70 minutes, so quite a while. And you really want to heat them up, get them boiling, and they will be fantastic. They will absorb some of the smoke taste, and it will be delicious. And then with a few minutes left to go, we're going to add the bacon cheese burger dogs. And we're going to grill those up, or smoke those up, whichever way you're doing it, until they're virtually done, and then sprinkle some cheddar cheese on it or whatever cheese you prefer. It doesn't really matter. I grate some up, throw it on there and then just let it melt and, until they're, they're all ready to go. And bring them off, bring them into the house, put some buns around those uh, burger dogs and have a little Memphis barbecue sauce and you are set to go.